Hi friends, uh, welcome to Azure video tutorials. This session I am going to start with the introduction to Azure Data Factory and uh, there are other components related to ADF. So that also I am going to uh, give you complete overview on the continuous sessions. Let's start with Azure Data Factory content. So introduction to Azure components related to ADF. So what are the components we are going to use in Azure Data Factory that also I am going to cover ADF architecture. So complete architecture how we are going to use Azure Data Factory and end-to-end -end process. EDF version 2 components. So as you know uh, version 1 and version 2 available in Microsoft Cloud. So what are the differences and what are the features added in uh, version 2 that also I am going to cover. Configuring uh, like creating a EDF and creating a pipelines and copying data. This also I am going to give examples. Scheduling pipelines that's a triggering your pipelines whatever you have created then you can trigger that that also I'm going to cover and the transforming data like creating a transformations like using transformations and uh, pipelines that also I'm going to cover uh, copying data from different sources like multiple sources so Azure data factory is supporting multiple sources so I will give a few examples related to multiple sources like uh, on-premises data flat files and uh, cloud databases And before starting with the Azure Data Factory, uh, as I told, a uh, few components related to Azure Data Factory. So we should know about these components that are uh, storage components. One is Azure Blob Storage and uh, Data Lake Store. These two are, we are using in Azure Cloud, uh, where we can store structured or semi-structured or unstructured data. That uh, I will give a uh, different uh, sessions. Uh, what is exactly Azure Blob Storage and uh, how we can create a container and how to store the data and how to create a snapshots. So this all information I will prepare another video. Then HD inside cluster, Hadoop cluster, how to create Hadoop cluster, Spark cluster and Hive cluster and how to use that. So then data factories version 1 and version 2 and differences, comparison of both of new features and uh, how we are going to use those features. Then if you are working end to end project, if you are working in data integration end to end projects in cloud, then you'll be knowing uh, like reporting people like reporting side how they are accessing through uh, azure analysis services or azure uh, sql data warehouse so that also i'm going to cover on this sessions next sessions this is a complete uh, other components which we are going to uh, discuss in azure data factory tutorial and before starting with azure like first if you are creating a user in Azure so you should know about uh, management groups, subscriptions, resources and resource groups so if you are once you log in with the uh, Azure account in the portal you can see uh, I have created a new account and uh, I got a free trial that's a free trial so this free trial is a subscription where it they are giving uh, some credit and a uh, few days it will be there that's you can see here subscription ID and my directory and the free credit will expire in 17 days and the subscription name you can see free trial and uh, current billing period and currency type and uh, status here you can see this is my credit so default you will be getting this credit and uh, and the free services this free account will be available for 12 months like one year you will be getting this this is called a subscription so using this subscription we can create a services and we can use those services and that amount uh, will be used from this subscription and uh, uh, once you reach this again you will be getting a billing this monthly billing you can see that if you go to all resources if you go to all resources here you can see all services management groups subscriptions and resource groups so first start with the management groups but before that this is a resource group right and here you can see the all the resources a resource is nothing but a software in cloud okay in the each software we are calling as a resource here like sql databases app services same thing for cosmos DBs, virtual machines storage accounts virtual networks whatever services like software is available here everything we will call as individual resource those resources whatever you are creating resources 
specific for environments for example i have a resources like uh, databases virtual uh, machines and uh, database storages accounts related to development what i will do i will create a new resource group and i will assign that so resource group is a container and uh, that container will be uh, attached to all the resources related to particular environment that's called resource group then subscription is uh, uh, whatever you are going to create a new uh, like uh, adding a new subscription like if you want to create a new subscription here this is my free trial I have a subscriptions if you want to create a new it's like directory you will be getting here and uh, all subscriptions will be uh, uh, whatever you are created here it, it will show here so the subscriptions uh, how much you are going to use and uh, that amounts related like billing related everything will be attached to the subscription and access related also like all the security related that uh, access related will be giving through the subscriptions so you can create a multiple subscriptions like uh, if you have multiple projects and if you have multiple environments you can manage uh, using the subscriptions and later if you want to decommission like uh, if you have a UAT environment if you have a development environment like that you can create a multiple subscriptions and you can attach all the resource group to particular subscription and this all multiple subscription will be managing in management groups this is the top level it's a container or you can say folder management group is a container or folder and that will be containing all the subscriptions and this individual subscription again will attach to your resource groups that resource group again will be uh, all available all the resources so this is the top to bottom hierarchy that management groups inside management group subscription will be there again resource group will be there again which resource group uh, what are the resources you have assigned that you can see that these are related to basic information like uh, if you are working azure developer if you are working as adf developer administration anything you should know this is the basic information related to standard microsoft azure cloud okay then here i'm giving a overview what is exactly azure subscription so azure subscription will grant you access to uh, access all the windows uh, azure services so what are the services you are going to use and uh, that services uh, billing will be uh, given in monthly billing so that subscription you can find all the billing and cost information everything then resource group resource group is a container or a folder and it will contain all the resources whatever we have attached to that resource group and resource as i told resource is a software or a component uh, whatever available in azure cloud like virtual machine storage accounts uh, web apps databases virtual networks this is all part of a resource okay then our major component is azure data factory so azure data factory is a cloud based hybrid data integration hybrid data integration tool so here we can create a data driven workflows and we can implement transformations and we can do data migrations from on premises to cloud cloud to cloud okay so like this we can use this azure data factory is user friendly and no need to write any code and it's a ui based tool it's a ui based tool so architecture if you are already working any data integration tools like informatic or oracle data integrator or data stage so you'll be knowing all uh, into an architecture how we will extract the data from different source system how we will load the data in staging and then how we'll do the transformations and then how we'll load the target warehouse same thing here also uh, azure uh, data factory this is your azure data factory here you are using this data factory and you are loading the data from source to target so that my pipelines the pipelines will be uh, available inside your data factory so my sources my sources it may be any on premises data bases or relational database or microsoft sql server or azure sql database a cloud database or a cloud storage cloud storage table cosmos database so my sources it may be databases on premises database it may be flat files it may be cloud databases it may be cloud storage 
then I will extract all the data whatever I have a source system and I will load into my staging area thus ingestion you can see here there's a blob storage you can use or you can use data lake also you can use that so once you load once you get the data from your sources to your warehouse sorry before going to warehouse we will be storing in the staging area that you can use a blob storage or data lake and then after that we will implement the transformations client requirement uh, validations and other things uh, aggregations summary whatever you, you are looking for that we will implement all and we will load into your warehouse that's a data storage you can store into uh, SQL data warehouse or directly you can store into your Azure analysis services from these services again you will be accessing uh, through reporting tools that's a power BI power BI is uh, accessing data from this Azure analysis services okay then here you can see there's a diagram called Azure Active Directory as I told the previous uh, slide like subscription and access related so all the users will be uh, creating in Azure Active Directory and authentication like access will be given through this directory okay it's a, a big a huge topic uh, authentication part uh, like if you uh, if you want to uh, work in uh, DevOps uh, admin so uh, you should know about what is exactly uh, how it's working Active Directory how to create users and how to give uh, privileges and how to create roles so this is a part of uh, authentication part so Active Directory uh, all the users will be uh, created here and uh, access given through this Active Directory so this uh, authentication part but remaining here you can see your data factory your data factory and inside data factory we are creating a pipelines and uh, loading the data from your source to target this is the complete data flow a diagram from source to target using our data factory so major uh, differences uh, compared to other ETL tools like normal uh, data integration tools here it's a cloud based hybrid data integration tool cloud based hybrid means you can use ETL approach you can use ELT approach ETL means extraction transformation and loading ELT means extraction loading and transformation so the two approaches you can use this and it's a completely GUI based tool so we are not writing any code here and uh, it's a completely GUI based tool that's a data factory is a GUI based in background if you want to see you can see the JSON code in version 1 also you can see that uh, JSON format code and if you want to edit you can edit the JSON code that uh, I will show that how to create a pipeline and how to see that uh, JSON code like whatever generated background whatever you are created a pipelines and whatever you created data sets so that's a part of uh, development and uh, again uh, you can trigger those pipelines like scheduling the pipelines and monitoring pipelines so this all related to your data factory so thank you watching my videos please subscribe my channel to get more videos on related azure data factory and azure uh, components related videos thank you very much